good evening everyone so we'll just start the class <clears throat> so see the first question what are the consequences of spreading of dead zones on marine ecosystem what are the consequences of spreading of dead zones on marine ecosystem take couple of minutes yeah yes good good anil so so the question is yeah question is consequences of spreading of dead zones and how this spreading is going to impact the marine ecosystem so first define what it is a dead zone okay so in the introduction we define what is a dead zone so dead zone means basically which has extreme conditions a zone which has extreme conditions which makes the presence of which makes the presence of life life forms difficult okay so example and this may be due to various reasons and then reasons for formation of dead zones reasons for dead zones what are the reasons of dead zones extreme temperature extreme temperature industrial effluent discharge eutrophication of lakes and then excess growth of weed plants like hyacinth and then temperature increase okay temperature increase already i have written so industrial effluence we have written excess plantation we have written okay so these are the causes and then oil spills yeah oil spills and then the natural causes like upwelling and downwelling so these are the causes or reasons for dead zones then what are the consequences of these dead zones consequences what is that the excess plankton the 
doesn't allow the sunlight to pass to deeper layers of water. Oil spills result in they result in death of lacks of living organisms like fish. Discharge of pollute discharge of pollutants or effluents impacts the water quality and thereby it impacts the biodiversity of the marine life. And the disturbance of marine life disturbs the hydrological cycle. And finally, it disturbs the food security, livelihood of fishermen, and disturbs the entire ecosystem, including the navigation, sea navigation. The conclusion is the marine ecosystems are fragile and need to be taken care with proper planning and less human intervention. The dead zones can be reduced with sustainable action plans. Okay? Is it clear? Yes, sir. Yeah. So, Okay. Reduced marine organisms, extension of creatures, habitat loss, alteration of food chain. Yeah, food chain also you can mention. It is going to create an impact on food chain. Chemical waste, plastic waste, yes, plastic waste you can write. Fertilizer discharge. You use the wording properly, Anil. The point is good, but write a bit professionally. Fertilizer discharge into oceans has to be reduced. Okay, sir. Conclusion can be slightly better. Okay. You have to write sustainable sustainability angle in this particular conclusion. Okay. Sure, sir. See the second question. How will the melting of Himalayan glaciers have a far-reaching impact on water resources of India? Yeah. So, how will the melting of... Okay, good points, Mahesh. How will the melting of Himalayan glaciers have a far-reaching impact on water resources of India? So, so, obviously, if you see the question, how will the melting of Himalayan glaciers... So, the question is, melting of... Himalayan glaciers, how does it have impact on water resources, water resources of India? 
so good question and here introduction you can write with the climate change which has become inevitable there seems to be melting of himalayan glaciers and this will have direct impact not only on our climate but also on our water resources so in the body you will write how does it impact how does this melting impact water resources so basically you must understand that temporarily there may be some advantage with the melting of glaciers but in the long term in the long term we are going to face a very big issue okay so the first thing is river flows so in the short term there may be very high river flows which may lead to floods and thereby loss of soil etc but in the long term there is a danger of these areas becoming arid regions so that is one thing river flows then irrigation water so the water availability may increase temporarily but the water for long term sustainability may reduce then inland water navigation due to long term impact of drying of rivers inland water navigation will take a back seat drinking water the potable water will reduce which may create hurdles to future population and apart from this other impact these are the impact on water resources what are the other impact change in weather patterns change in hydrological cycle like cloud burst flash floods or whatever it is and then droughts etc and then loss in livelihood loss in biodiversity and then change in weather patterns which includes monsoon and other ways okay and then what are the solutions is immediately reduce the greenhouse gases reduce the greenhouse gases okay which is impacting the global warming sustainable tourism sustainable tourism sustainable tourism sustainable tourism okay sustainable tourism is one thing and then improve forest cover 
improve forest cover okay reduce pollution reduce pollution okay and act on national national plan for himalayan ecosystem so on okay and the conclusion says what we can write in the conclusion the melting of glaciers is an alarming aspect of the global climate change which may impact india in a very drastic way the need of the r is to preserve this pristine ecosystem with minimum interference from mankind clear is it clear everyone yes sir good irrigation water drinking water industrial water navigation water erratic monsoon yes this can be part of other resources other impact other impact you take one column and write that solutions are good good conclusion and you write somewhere that uh, and make making them binding and preserve such delicate system such delicate ecosystem clear shanta prasad the shanta prasad left the meeting ah huh? Shanta Prasad, I was trying to evaluate your answer. Are you there, Shanta Prasad? Yes, sir. You've seen the answer which we have written. Uh, yes, sir. In between disconnect. So here, this erratic monsoon, you can take it as other impact. and then mention the other impacts okay okay sir solution is good in the conclusion what i was saying is you can write to preserve the delicate ecosystem like himalayas some somewhere himalayas should come in your conclusion also okay okay sir yeah see the next question Mumbai, Delhi, and Kolkata are the three mega cities of the country, but the air pollution is much more serious problem in Delhi as compared to other two. Why is it so? Okay, take two minutes. Yeah, good points, uh, Shanta Prasad. Yeah, Mahesh. So basically, see the logic is very simple. The pollution levels are. equally high in bombay and kolkata also but delhi is more prone to other factors and delhi is a la land locked city 
for bombay and kolkata the advantage is they are bounded by huge seas and we all know sea is the biggest absorber of carbon dioxide and other particle matter uh, particle ma matter but in case of delhi delhi doesn't enjoy that advantage yes or no yes sir yes sir so yes, sir. that you have to highlight and other issues obviously the stubble burning from punjab haryana and uh, the power plants located very much near the city of delhi and it is the capital nation of the india with highest population more than 1.2 1.3 crore people live in delhi so why delhi the question is why delhi simply you introduce so lack question, of forest ah uh, lack of green cover around the city okay uh, raising skyscrapers concrete jungles okay so all these are prominent reasons you have to say and that and then conclude saying that you should not we should not feel that delhi is having more or bombay is less the conclusion across all the the pollution levels across all the major cities is a very alarming issue so we need to improve our green cover promote public transport okay and reduce dependence on fossil fuels improve electric vehicles so all these measures you give and then in conclusion say that uh all the we are, the urbanization is going to be the way forward and all the metro cities should be having more green space or green lung space clear yes sir yes sir so because you know these these kind of answers the framework becomes very important so in the introduction you will write that every you can see you can say that you know uh every winter amongst all major metro cities delhi seems to be worse affected due to pollution there are various factors there are various reasons for this okay and then if you want in the body you just draw the india map draw the india map okay this is your kolkata somewhere here this is your mumbai and you say these are having immediate oceans this is nothing but your bay of bengal this is arabian sea and this is the delhi so obviously you can say this is land locked you can show this is land locked delhi so like that if you show the examiner you will know that you have very absolute clarity so the first is obviously land locked that is the location the location of delhi is the major issue and it is surrounded by states of up haryana and then they are and then it is having lot of pollution due to more number of vehicles concrete jungles that is due to lot of construction activity going on and then the stubble burning stubble burning in and around delhi and then being in the northern hemisphere in the northern part it is the winters are very severe and the precipitation is not there precipitation is less because of high pressure in generally during winters there will be high pressure and precipitation will be less so the particles will not be falling down and they will be floating around in the air and then it is the capital of india so high population density population is very high lack of green cover around the city and then presence of thermal power plants 
thermal power plants around the city so all these are the issues so you can say what are the solutions by government so some of the solutions are stubble burning stubble burning is now the main focus for central and those state governments stubble burning issue is being addressed then vehicle even odd formula by delhi government uh relocation of thermal power plants of thermal power plants around delhi around delhi and then uh smog towers there is something called smog towers already installed in the city of delhi okay promotion of cng and biogas vehicles and then uh and other solutions you give your own solutions here what are the other solutions promotion of public transport delhi is having very good public transport so it the government should promote public transport of course they are doing it they have to do it more aggressively okay uh increase of green cover so this particular dimension we have not seen much in focus in news increase of green cover okay and then um, increase of green cover or the urban forestry you can call promoting renewable energy and long term solutions to cropping patterns not stubble burning you have to change the entire cropping patterns itself that is the solution we are proposing any other solutions which you think are good you can always provide the cities in india are going to be more and more urbanized the need of the are is to ensure that the pollution across cities is reduced for which multi pronged approach with primary focus on improving the green cover should be taken up clear is it clear yes sir yes sir yes sir good geographical location stubble burning capital city good power plants yes lack of green cover you say lack of green cover in the side heading only the examiner will understand okay 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 solution stubble burner conversion so solutions you see don't project government solutions or your solutions 
so in solutions try to give two di two dimensions government and other okay already whatever government is doing highlight them and what you want apart from them highlight them separately okay Now the satellite okay. towns you can write in others okay this supplying of technology okay. for stable burning already government is doing See the last question. Assess the impact of global warming on coral life system with examples. Sir. Yes. Sir, can we add the point saying that Delhi Delhi is the capital from medieval times? But uh, these two town, these two cities are developed just in nineteenth century. No, no, no. From no. medieval age, we are not having pollution, right? Sir, means population density is more now, sir. No, no, no. During British up to nineteen eleven, Calcutta was capital, na? Sir, but it was formed only after after seventeen seventeen fifty seven. Ah, uh, then major development happened during British only, na? Sure. It is it is a geography question. If you go into that way again, it will unnecessarily complicate. Okay, so okay. you can always write like this. Okay, sir. One more thing is, can we add as our our solution point to reducing migrants? Ah, uh, instead of saying reducing migrants, you say that ah uh, population pressure on Delhi can be reduced by having multiple ah uh, developments developed cities. Like you can have so, a South so. India capital, okay. So it need not require that everyone should go to Delhi for every work. So you can have multiple uh, staggered growth and development to reduce the population pressure on Delhi. So, sir, construction of all government offices at single location. Can so we that's what they, when we are saying that there has to be staggered development across India. It means everything. Okay, sir. Okay, clear. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Right. Okay. You see the next question, last question. Yeah. Assess the impact of global warming on coral life system with examples. So they are asking you to give the examples of the impact of global warming on coral life. Okay. So. Assess the impact. So obviously, the impact is negative. We all know that the coral reefs across various countries are reducing because of global warming. So what is this question about? It says impact of global warming on coral life. okay so introduction you can say about corals corals are they are basically polyps which have symbiotic relationship with algae and are prominently found in some oceanic systems right so in the body you will straight away come to the impact of coral life systems impact of global warming warming Coral life system. Coral life system. So, what are the impacts? Basically, global warming increases the temperature. We all know that, and the conducive temperature generally for corals is around twenty degrees to thirty degrees Celsius. And due to increase in temperature, the corals tend to die. Okay, and then. 
the increase in temperature global warming is increasing the average temperature of the oceans and this is reducing the co2 absorption capacity <clears throat> and this is impacting the algae and thereby directly impacting the corals and also the global warming is impacting corals corals which are which support which support lot of living organisms coral themselves have lot of living organisms and due to temperature rise this organisms tend to die and thereby impacting the health of corals okay and then the other other impact other impact you can write marine biodiversity reduces the livelihood of people reduces okay and then okay you, you can say coral bleaching is happening okay in fact due to increase in temperature co2 absorption i think it will increase right Uh, yes, sir. Uh, not due to temperature, sir. Actually, increasing in the atmosphere CO two level, so automatically ocean CO two levels also increasing, sir. Increase in temperature and CO two absorption also varies. One second, uh, absorption. Both of them vary actually. yeah correct this is correct the temperature a warmer ocean will be dissolving less co2 thus keeping more co2 outside in the outside atmosphere so the co2 yes this is correct only not a problem okay okay yeah so fine so this is coral bleaching okay other impact and uh, in the solutions you can write uh, reducing pollution in the marine waters implementation of indcs strictly as per cop conferences promoting renewable energy promoting renewable energy so these are some of the measures and then conclude corals are popularly called as what are they called as marine rain forest sir yes marine rain forest which reflects the biodiversity they support to protect them means to protect the oceanic ecosystem 
hence so you can conclude like this not a problem clear yes sir here in that answer you can write about the great barrier reefs of australia which are seen that they are reducing due to global warming you can write that example because they have been asking examples right so yeah i forgot that example part throughout this answer you know for global warming you mention great barrier reef great barrier reef great barrier reefs and then you can mention that how around around the indian ocean the coral reefs are reducing this also you can mention examples okay yeah coral breaching yes example yes coral breaching at nutrient imbalance phytoplankton so yeah this point i forgot the phytoplankton are reducing and hence the corals are also reducing okay varied sea level surface temperature okay you write other other impacts also anil other impact okay sir and then way forward through reducing carbon emissions renewable technologies okay okay and you bring the angle of biodiversity sure okay. sir fine okay so that's it we'll uh, meet tomorrow morning good sir